Welcome to chapter 8 of the Tally Learning Hub. In this chapter, we will learn about business reports in Tally ERP9. Business reports reflect the health of any business. They help you evaluate your financial performance and allow you to take smart and timely decisions. The report we will discuss about today is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a key financial statement that reveals the details of the company's assets, liabilities, and the amount owed by the shareholders. From the gateway of Tally, press B for balance sheet. You can observe that within seconds your balance sheet is ready and shown to you. This is true for any report you see in Tally ERP9. It is fast, responsive, and it is right there when you need it. Now, press Alt F1 for a detailed view. Now you see a detailed view of your assets and liabilities. Here is a tip for you. In Tally ERP9, press enter to go deeper into the reports and press escape to come back. Now, say that you want to see the breakup of sundry debtors. You can simply press enter on sundry debtors to see the customer wise breakup. Let's say Max Electronics wants to see the pending bill wise details of Ace Electronics. Press F8. Select bill wise details. From this report, press enter on Ace Electronics to see the pending bill wise details. So you see, getting around tally is so simple and easy. Once you're done with your analysis, you can simply press escape to go back to the balance sheet in the same way you navigated earlier. Isn't it quite natural for the mind to seek additional information while you analyze the reports just like Max Electronics did? It is so very true. In tally, all the reports are designed to follow your thoughts and allow you to perform all the actions you thought about. The next thing we will learn is to compare balance sheet across different companies. In case you have created different companies for your different branches or business verticals, you can compare the balance sheet of these companies in a few seconds. Let's say that Max Electronics has another branch company, Max Hardware, and wants to generate a balance sheet. Let's go back to the gateway of Tally. Select the other company by pressing F1. I'm selecting Max Hardware. Let's make Max Electronics as our current company by clicking on Max Electronics. Now, let's go back to the balance sheet. Press Alt C for new column. Select Max Hardware. Specify the from period as 1st April 2019. Leave the to period as blank to view the details to the last date. Enter and accept the screen. And there you go. Your comparative report is ready. Once you have done your analysis, if you want to remove the column, just place your cursor on any field in the column you want to delete. And press Alt D. So here is a quick recap of things that we learned today. Seeing the detailed reports using Alt F1, drilling down using Enter to see the final details of a transaction, navigating with ease using the keys from the side menu bar, and comparing the balance sheet with other companies. There are many more accounting and inventory reports available in Tally which help you make confident decisions. You can use the same navigation to access all the other reports. After all, quick and consistent navigation across all the reports make it simple to use and getting around Tally easier. In our next chapter, we will learn about profit and loss account in Tally ERP9.